other strategies in that content. Is that okay? So one, one key question, one key part of professional learning is making sure you build the strategy, whatever, whatever you're targeting, build the strategy into the content that you're working on. So if I were uh, in the school leadership team in a school and a teacher told me they were teaching the kids about the solar system, be reasonable for me to have a dialogue about what strategy you're targeting and how you're going to be doing it in this teaching. And so it could be that with every teacher, as a member of the school leadership team, I might be responsible for seven or eight teachers uh, for their professional learning. It might be that I want to have a dialogue with each one of them every, at least once every two weeks about how they're slotting the uh, strategy into their teaching and really have a dialogue where I probe how they're doing it and what it's going to look like. If I do that, at least I'm saying to them, I'm interested in knowing and I want to work with you on it. Uh, if I don't do that, then I'm really missing the mark again in terms of having the student, having the teachers put in place the strategies. Um, we won't get teachers embedding the strategies in their teaching uh, unless they actually have the opportunity and time to do it. I mean, not everyone's like Lily or Linda or whatever. I mean, they're, they're not. They're not going to go home and do it spontaneously or like Connie and make all the fantastic stuff. There are going to be people who say, you can't make me do it. So we have to give them the opportunity to do it. We have to let them know that, OK, they're in no position to say, you're not going to make me do it. I want to see it done. And they're going to have some time to do it. Some time to say how they'd build it in. Because if, if at least if they have time to look at building it in, there is a chance that they might put it into their teaching. If they don't have time, they won't. Is this all right? That, 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 that's one issue. So one aspect of the professional learning is looking at the content. Now, towards the end of the, doc, of the paper I've passed out today, I've shown you how the literacy strategies link up with uh, E to the 5, with that instructional model. Uh, now, uh, uh, we will go through that next time. I, I, I haven't got time to do that now. But the, 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 the reason why I'm stressing the lesson planning is because for all of us as teachers, the basic currency that we operate on is what we're teaching. You know, whenever we have to think about VELS or POLT or ICT or assessment and reporting, all of those things, they all relate, they all relate to the topic that I'm teaching at the time. So if I'm wanting people to change their teaching practice, to put more literacy in, I need to give them time to plan how they're going to do it in the particular topic and then I discuss it with them. So, Lena, if we're wanting implementation, that needs to happen. Well, it won't, we won't get it happening otherwise. People will be saying, you can't make me. So. Yeah, yeah. Yep. And uh, we were, t and, and Karen and James and I were talking uh, about how, up until now, a lot of schools have been putting in place the, the, the high reliability strategies, a bit of it, but now is the time to actually, you know, I think you were saying, Karen, now is the time to bring it together and say, let's do it as a regular part. And, and I think we've needed the time so far from last year, we've needed the time to bit by bit put it into place, try it out. But now it is probably an appropriate time to bring it together and to put it into explicit lesson plans. And so it's reasonable for a school leadership team to actually, when teachers, when each of us as teachers front up for our annual reviews, for us to talk about how we've embedded 
the literacy teaching in the lessons we're teaching. Or where a group of two or three teachers meet every, we're saying, every two or three weeks to plan together to do it. And so people can really talk with each other. That's one key aspect of professional learning. Oh, it's, it's, it's got to be led. It's got to be led by the leadership. The leadership needs to lead it. It won't work otherwise. Um, uh, a second uh, aspect of the professional learning uh, is having time to actually clarify what the effective literacy learning strategies actually look like. Now, this might mean looking at some of the videos we've made, uh, having some... Uh, uh, modelling uh, the, 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 some of the effective uh, literacy teaching procedures have been placed on the department's websites and uh, things like that. Uh, the third, we really have to trial the literacy teaching in classes. And I would hope that during term three and term four, each of you uh, will, will actually be trialling one or two of the strategies, and in the room with you will be someone else who will be observing your trialling and giving you feedback uh, from it. And that there will be the opportunity for uh, dialogue about how the strategy went. So if we were talking about, say, Thomastown Secondary, where it's, it's being put in place, it's being trialled, you know, we're saying, OK, we're really going to take this on board, we're going to trial it. David, you're going to pair with someone and they're going to be demonstrating one or two strategies, and you've got a bit of time release to observe how it's being done and to give feedback. And so the school can say, yes, we've trialled it, and we're trialling it for the benefit of the school as a whole in 2010. It's being trialled now so we can get it right. Now, part of the trialling can be, again, making videos. So it's available. So people... People at Thomastown next year can see that it was used in 2009 with these results, with particular outcomes. Now, obviously, coaching and demonstration is, is going to be uh, important uh, in terms of uh, how the strategies can be delivered in the, in the context of your school. I've, I've taken each of these and I've spelt them out uh, in, in much greater depth. In, in, in the rest of these notes. Um, and I've talked in the first one about embedding them in the topics, uh, being able to try out particular uh, strategies and really having a, a 